Okay, I'm going to make a video here um, about the quiz to refresh your mind after you take notes and stuff during uh, the first part of the of the class today, um, and then I'll leave the quiz up um, until Wednesday or so, so that you can get it uh, finished on time. Okay, the uh, mostly uh, we're going to go over uh, stuff from the first six chapters, uh, so that uh, this will be a lot of review for you, and review is a good thing. Um, remember that uh, Amestris is the daughter of Cyrus Eskander, who will play a uh, growing role as the story uh, moves along. Remember, she sac sacrificed her career, and she was a she wanted to be a concert pianist uh, and to work for, uh, she did it to work for her father at his request, but it's a patriarchal society and she's never going to be more than a uh, symbol uh, uh, and will eventually start her own business with uh, Erna. Um, now Carrie, um, who you meet in the first chapter, um, was a young boy uh, who was a, as a young boy of, of 14, uh, he went missing for three months, you remember, uh, living in an abandoned construction bunker, we are informed, really early in the novel. Anyway, uh, and he uh, wrote a book about his um, experiences of being an adolescent male in a, side, in a society titled, and, and uh, the, book, the book is called L'Une et l'Autre. And remember, if you put an apostrophe by, it could be the one and the other. And keep this in mind as the story progresses and remembering Carrie's dream uh, that he looks into this desiccated body um, inside of a space suit. Now, one of the other things in, in the, among the cousins or the sisterhood is uh, that formal marriage between a woman and a man uh, is... Uh, not the common practice. Uh, uh, the, the men really didn't marry all that often, and if they did, it was it was just to, to be a member of uh, the family. Um, but it's not the uh, formal marriage is not the end all and the be all, to be sure. I mean, look at look at Carrie. He's got a child with Roz, but uh, he sleeps around, and she doesn't. Uh, uh, doesn't press him all that much, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, now, and Ern, Erno is an interesting character. I mean, he's a biotechnologist with the cousins, and he's trained by a famous one you'll meet later, uh, Lemmy Odelson. Um, but in addition to that, he has a, another um, pastime, and he, he enjoys writing poetry and reading poetry. He reads a lot of the Persian poetry and whatnot and is, uh, wants to learn the language and that helps him when he um, when he finally meets an estrus after his hand, uh, he loses his hand in the accident at the ice uh, factory. And oddly enough, uh, our author uh, made me think about that, John Kessel. Um, I mean, he teach, taught creative writing forever and ever and ever. But he also has a BS in science, in physics. So a lot of the stuff about the moon and things like that, he's researched, but he's also has a science background. It comes in handy when you're writing science fiction. Um, now, there are 27 colonies on the moon. And to the north is, of course, the Society of Women. And in the south, where all the ice is, is the largest of the colonies and the most wealthy, I assume, is Persepolis. You know, the ones where you can afford pianos. Um, now, <clears throat> um, now um, in the beginning of the novel, we see that the exile of, from the sisterhood, Arno, um, he works at Persepolis Water, um, and it's owned by Cyrus Eskander, and his uh, other name is the Shaw of Ice. And remember, Persepolis uh, is an Iranian, a Persian 
colony, um, more secular than religious. So we don't have a big fight going on between the Shiites and the and the Sunni, uh, as we do in the real uh, world of Persia and the other Arab states. So the Shah of Ice, I kind of like that. Uh, the Shah, of course, is honorific uh, for a ruler. Um, and there's another of a, a famous background person that will come into play, especially as Erno knows him, and he, he goes on the the uh, radio show with Cyrus, the dog, the uh, uplifted Cyrus, who pay attention to because he really hates people. Thomas Marisor is the one uh, in chapter seven, I think, that Arno watches on television. Now he provoked a riot uh, from one of his stand-up routines in a place where in the beginning Ma, Mira and Carrie filmed, and that place is called the Oxygen Warehouse, and it's been boarded up, but that was the locale for the rabble-rousing that uh, Thomas Maser did, uh, trying to foment a revolt um, of the men against the women. And, uh, and Carrie uh, has numerous struggles, and uh, and we meet him, Val, is Carrie's son, and we meet him when he's kind of doing a, uh, uh, an exam of some kind. And he's a, we learn that he's an accomplished uh, and very talented glass blower. And of course, Val, um, Carrie wants to have custody of his son, which is against the rules. Um, and Roz will contest that, so there's going to be a trial. Um, and we learn. Uh, early on in the story that uh, Mira uh, is the looker, an outlaw, social critic, radical artist, and the one who told the truth, as it were. Um, I remember Carrie will tell Val that Mira is the looker, and then he'll also tell Papia, um, and it'll help Mira get a job and things along those lines. Um, but she is the looker, and she's uh, she does very... Uh, She's a, a, a smart and astute social critic. Now, Roz Baldwin is interesting, not just because she's the mother of Carrie's child and has custody of him, but she, in fact, and one of the, one of the things that's argued against her is that she came from Earth and was raised by her father. And so that's a big, it's an important thing because most of the people that have, of course, live there but Roz uh, has uh, risen into a, a pretty powerful social position as basically the head of the Green family. Now, another of the characters on the side that comes back, um, nothing gets wasted here, um, is uh, Salmon Kazidi. And he's the founder and CEO of Kazidi Pianos. And remember, he's in love with the mistress, um, much to the surprise of Erno. Um, and he will um, contract Arano and Amestris uh, to try to grow specialized trees for him so that he can make the pianos out of wood on the moon. Uh, and he's rich, and, and he was basically um, Amestris's mentor. Uh, and again, as... as uh, He's, we find out that he, he makes acoustic pianos. Um, Simon Kazdi is in love, deeply in love with Amestris, and I guess he's asked her to marry him a couple times. I want to bring up something again about Thomas Mar Marison. Um, and, uh, and Erno was a kind of follower of this guy uh, for the longest time and uh, was sucked in, you know, and then gets in on the prank that turns tragic and ends up killing Erno's mother. But what, tur asked, uh, what turned Erno against Marison is that he asked Erno to develop a virus to infect all the women in the sisterhood, but to spare the men. Um, so he's, he, uh, he's uh, out to lunch and, uh, and what continues to play a role, as you know, we saw him on television with Sirius. Uh, and so uh, keep an eye on him, just his, um, because of his background. He'll support the uh, Spartan Manifesto, 
um, and even more militantly than what the manifesto says. He'd like to wipe out all the women. But the Spartan manifesto demands uh, full and equal parental rights for all men. And so, uh, uh, although Carey, you might not think of him as a member of the Spartan uh, crowd, um, he, he's not a revolutionary, if you will. Um, he did write that book, um, but um, he does want custody of his son, but he just doesn't want Val mixed up with the Spartans because um, he's protective of him. Um, not as much as we find out that Mira thinks. Um, now, remember, the board of the Society of Women um, ordered an embargo of all science research uh, because of, well, well, you know, let's just say uh, uh, Erno is going to go um, with a committee um, made up of a lot of people to the Society of Women. And I mean, what he's looking for, though, is to steal from his scientific, his science mentor. Um, the the materials that will allow him to um, raise the appropriate trees to make pianos. But otherwise, too, is the, is, is the distrust that we find uh, all the time. Um, that is to say, in the propaganda that, that Thomas uh, Messon uh, uh, spews, it's the idea that the women are um, holding back the technology for all kinds of things, including biological uh, agents that can kill all the people on the moon, that sort of stuff. But they are hiding something, and you keep your mind on, uh, on the ball when you're reading farther on about the talk about a scanner. Now, Mira will testify eventually against um, Carrie with respect to custody for Val, and part of that is that her brother Marco, um, and she, whom, for whom died, and she feels guilty. I mean, he died from a broken neck in a flying abs, uh, accident. Um, the way that Val is kind of getting a little out of hand, uh, like most adolescents do, um, and she's, but she's completely undone for the fact that she feels responsible for her brother's uh, death because she wasn't watching him properly, or as though she could. Now there is an election, a referendum. Um, and that's going to be whether the males get the vote. And uh, ironically, Apatia, who had uh, said something about terrorism, I mean, the leader of the Reform Party, she wins the least amount of votes. But one of the people from the Reform Party, one of the women um, involved in it, does um, get on, uh, win, you know, a seat, if you will. Um, this is the the start, if you will, of the undoing of the society, as you're going to come to find out. Um, and they, they're, 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 they're not reformed in, in the way that the Spartans are. The Spartans want revolt, if you will. Now, we do know that Marco has this new hand uh, that he stole. Um, it allows him, um, as he has a firm contact with another person's hand, um, to perceive their feelings and know if that person were telling the truth. So uh, he can also put it in the soil um, and test the, what the temperature of the soil is. It's a very good thing to have. Um, and it has, it's a good, good, good news, bad news story. But if you're in business, it's good to know certain things. But also, it's good that, that other people don't have it because with, especially with respect to the um, piano uh, maker. Uh, Carrie doesn't know how to do what he said he was going to do. Uh, so he has to, he knows where to find the information, but that scientist has refused to give it to him. But the hand, he can tell if you're in a business deal, if you're, if you're lying, he'll be able to tell. Okay, well, I'll go over this in class as well, and, uh, and then you can take the quiz. And... Oh, I can't find it. Well, here we are. And we're going to stop.